previously on Factions. And our goal today is revenge, to destroy as much as we can of the people who killed us yesterday. Oh, Ooh, yes. second yes. try, baby, good call. Boom! Oh, <laughs> revenge is sweet, Wild. Well, we're gonna log off an alt in here. They are never going to use this cactus farm again. Hey, what's up guys, Gamma Rusher here, welcome back to Factions, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for tuning into this show every single day, making it a part of your daily routine. We really do appreciate it. Uh, today I start off with the whole crew. We got Napkin, Wild, and Mr. Mitch. How is everybody today? I am doing fantastic, dude. Hey guys. Wow, Wild. Wow, <laughs> Mitch, is, Mitch seems Hello. happy in his tone. Wild is being... I'll be honest, I didn't hear the intro. I just got back. Mitch, <laughs> <laughs> Mitch is just assuming I asked. See, that's how good of a guy I am, dude. You just assumed I asked you how I was doing, dude, or how you were doing. That's awesome. Yeah, I hope you did. Wild made it a little weird with his response. And Napkin, what about you? Tired. Tired? Okay. <laughs> nah, okay, that brings the mood right down, dude. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back, Tired. everybody. Uh, first off, Dave Fashion the Comment Day coming in from Maverick70. People who spent real money on ranks should get a custom tag. And the reason I bring this up one, cool idea. Two, I want to reiterate. So, yesterday, if you missed yesterday's episode, I recommend going to check it out because we demonstrated the new uh, EULA feature that we have, EULA compatible feature we have here on the Archon, where players are able to purchase ranks in game. Because obviously people on the Archon have always been able to purchase uh, ranks, such as on here, the worker rank, the attendant rank, etc., on shop.thearchon.net with real money. Now with the EULA compliance, we are not allowed to sell uh, ranks like that, but in order for other people who have already bought these ranks to keep these ranks, we have to give away or a chance or, you know, an equal chance for other players who don't have these ranks to earn them in game. So we demonstrated that we now have this feature rolled out on all servers. And all I want to say with this comment is yes, like, yeah, maybe we can give people a custom tag or something, but no real ideas yet. But all I want to say is we are thinking about things like that. Yes, we understand that previous people have purchased ranks, have, have purchased, uh, you know, advantages because they understood that they were purchasing this purchasing this this rank this advantage because it was an advantage right that was one of the biggest selling points of buying these ranks crate keys etc so yes uh, just want to let you know we are thinking of things like that we do want to have some way some big way of just rewarding those people who did spend real money on the archon uh, while it was not eula compliant um the only reason it may be delayed is because there's a ton of stuff going on with the archon right now and we're just trying to prioritize and what that priority is right now is just get the archon on blacklisted and make sure we are going not going against any of mojang's rules that that's where we're at right now so uh bear just bear with us be patient as i've been saying every episode since this all started and we're hoping to get another reply with our proof etc uh hopefully tonight is, is the goal so i'll keep you updated on twitter through these videos etc and thank you so much for being patient last thing we'll do in today's intro or today's hello portion of the video here is slash ah yesterday wild i sold uh two igs right for 2.5 million a piece correct or put them up yeah. yeah i put them up on ah and wild i might have uh i should have gone with your your call with the three million because both of those things sold within about 14 12 to 14 hours my listing page they're not there two igs 2.5 million a piece slash balance ladies and gentlemen i now have 11.5 million in the freaking bank man so i i don't know i'm killing i'm getting pretty i'm getting pretty loaded on here which uh which obviously gets me excited as oops my bad there uh bow top gets me excited as we are you know we are valuing money now you know so much more because of this new addition of the rank up etc and Eighth, uh, I might even be, I'm just trying to check right now if I'm on Bal Top, uh, Bal Top 2, oh, I might be just off, ooh, look at Wild, 10th place, Bal Top 3, I should be here somewhere, oh, it just hasn't updated, oh yeah, it has, there I am right at the top, 
and I am ranked 18th. So I am the 18th richest person on Factions Chrome right now. So I don't know. I, I wasn't really focusing on Baltop or anything like that, etc. this whole season. So it's nice to have a, a good, solid 18th place, dude. Not bad at all. Mitch, what are you ranked, buddy? Uh, not that high. Not that <laughs> high, dude. You will get there, Mitch. You'll get, I mean, maybe I'll lend you a couple mil, dude. I don't know, dude. That's, that's just what friends do. Be Either way, nice. ladies and gents, we got to go talk to... Uh, Talk to a guy we haven't talked to in a long time. So other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy today's show. Haven't talked to this guy in a while. Hey, hey for darkness, how you doing? I'm pretty good, dude. I just got back from uh, from a little bit of traveling, but we're back in factions. Oh, you mean IRL traveling? Okay, oh, yeah. dude. Okay, you gotta depict that with me, dude. I never know factions, IRL. It's two different worlds for me, man. Either way, welcome back, dude. Uh, a lot has happened since you've gone. I'm not really here to update you. You're kind of here to tell me something and then we're gonna cash out on a pretty big deal here uh hopefully so so what's going on here man so pretty much i guess i like we didn't really have a falling out more so one of the faction members golden crapple he no longer plays anymore so i've officially kind of left the faction and i joined aurora now yeah so you were playing on whose team you're playing on crapple's team right yeah crapple fab and now fab's in pandemic and now i'm in aurora Okay, so okay, so yeah, the, basically the, the faction moved on. You had been our ally. You have been our ally throughout this season. And now you've joined Aurora, who thankfully is still our ally as well. So you're still our ally. Even after exactly. all this moving and changing and going around, you are, we're still friends apparently. So that works out. Welcome. Uh, hope you and Ben M can uh, do well together. Ben M's a good guy. Love that guy. And not to all right. him this time. Well, yeah, man. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. He let you wait. Didn't you inside him? Yeah, like a uh, lot. Probably like three times. And he lets you back every time, dude. All right. Well, I I don't know. I can never talk sense into into Ben M. Wild and I, you know, we try, but. It's tough. It's tough, man. But Ben M's a good guy, so hopefully it works out for you at least here for the fourth time. I don't know, man. Uh, but other than that, the main reason we are meeting here today is we got a big deal on the line. So, you told me you've got one of the silverfish spawners, correct? Yep, exactly. Crapple gave it to me right before he left off. Right before he left. So there's three silverfish spawners in the world. One of them apparently was burnt. Rumor is I've heard that it was burnt in lava. And the other two, one is with me and one is now with Dylan. And I gotta be honest, dude, right now in the F top race, we are winning by a pretty good amount. We've got a nice lead. So, with that being said, and with the recent economy changes that are kicking in with the EULA stuff, etc., I am in need and looking for money. I want cash for myself. So, I want to sell uh, my silverfish spawner, and Wild and I kind of do together as, as we got it together on that first day. Um, and with that being said, I want to sell it to someone who is not an enemy of mine, and in this case, that would be you. So, uh, I don't know, are you interested in having a second spawner? Of course, it gives 10 million F top value, so it's, uh, it's a pretty good item to have. I mean, it depends on how much you actually want to sell it to me for. Well, I'm definitely not, you know, 10 million is usually a little too far, but I, uh, just for an example, I sold IGs yesterday. So, uh, IGs, $5 million F top value. I put them on the market for around $3 million and both of them sold within 12 hours. So basically I'm thinking around that proportion for this price, 10 million F top value. How does 6 million cash value sound for it? I don't have all the money right now. I have two million in my balance, but I'll be able to get Ben to come on tomorrow and give you the rest. And Ben M, yeah, and I know Ben M's got some money. Okay, so you are interested in the six mil. Yeah, sounds good. Ten million F top. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah, ten million F top, so kind of a four million positive value for you there. And I know Ben M is, uh, you know, he loves to have that F top value. He loves to make Aurora look powerful. Uh, Aurora is Aurora is Ben M. We all know that. Um, okay, so I guess that's a deal then. So you're gonna pay me two million now, and by tomorrow, let's just say with 24 hours, I mean, we are allies now, so I'm not too afraid of a scam or anything like that. So you'll give me the rest of the four million with Ben Mascot in, in tomorrow's episode or the next day? Yep, sounds good. All right, hey, I, I'm down I, I'm down for that, man. Sounds good to me. All right, we'll take uh, Silverfish Spawner is here. Also, I gotta be honest, 
I'm happy to get this thing out of my freaking base, man, because I'll be standing there, Mitch, myself, and Wild will be standing in the base, AFK are just hanging out, and then, you know, randomly these little critters just start beating on me. I'm like, what's going on? And it's the silverfish. So it's good to have those out of my base, at least for me, just, you know, little pet peeve bonus there. Uh, but other than that, Dylan, you, you got anything else, buddy? It's good to have you back on the Archon, dude. Thanks. That's about it. Thanks for the uh, silverfish spawner and uh, looking forward to seeing you uh, on the server. Yeah, no worries, man. I expect that four million soon. No worries, though. I uh, glad you're in the ally ship and hopefully you and you and Ben M can uh, finally somehow find uh, find peace together. Dude, that that'll be the ultimate goal for you boys. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Other than that, peace out, man. Good talking to you. Enjoy the spawner. That's it. For the ending part of today's video, you may already realize today's episode was a little bit late. Gotta be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I had a recording time set out, and I had a meeting to get to with, uh, with someone important in real life that came out of nowhere and threw me off a little bit. So now I'm speed racing, because I, you know, one of my big goals right now is get back on track and make sure I'm uploading on time, and we do, we've been doing really good the last week or so, other than I think one day... Uh, I uploaded it the wrong, uh, I, up I had it scheduled for the day later, so it was two hours late. But other than that, I've been doing good. So today, to end off today's video, it may sound a little bit rushed, but tune in tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to make it up to you. we got a crazy episode planned for tomorrow. It's going to be tons of fun, and thank you for your support recently. So right now, Curtis, I got you in the call. It's just you and me, buddy, all right? And, and what we're going to touch on is one server things and we're going to look at some stuff and I'm actually going to use some of this money, uh, put it to some good use. And secondly, Curtis, we got to go back to the hacking thing one more <laughs> time. The reason for this is because in the video where I, uh, we were trying to prove that you weren't hacking or were hacking, etc., we, uh, our goal was to get your part recorded. So you and I had a one V one. And you had that part recorded of you fighting me. So, and then I was going to put that on my video to prove uh, that you didn't have anything on while you were fighting me. So that was the real proof. But Curtis ended up falling asleep uh, before I had reminded him to do it and send me it. So now, Curtis, we're going to put that clip in right now. So we're a little bit late, but people want to, people honestly think you hack, man. Like, uh, it's crazy, right? Like, they actually think you would hack against, uh, against the <laughs> owner boss. of the Archon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you did dude i don't know man i'm just i'm just maybe. saying maybe you did but with that being said we are gonna throw the clip right now of curtis 1v1ing me the other day yes i know ghost clients exist etc but take it for what it is he's not hacking but either way we're gonna show you this clip anyways and just to prove it because uh, there's a a decent amount of people who really think you do so here is curtis's clip of him fighting me his perspective game on good luck buddy I drank another speed just in case, dude. Just so oh, I wow, you just two. teleported. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did, dude. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Ooh, Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, so you can see, ladies and gents, I am losing here. Ooh, almost popping me early, eh? <laughs> Kurt, the Kurt brain going hard. <laughs> so I think I'm doing, obviously, still getting out hit here uh, by the Kurt man. But I think I'm doing much better than I was doing yesterday. I really think it had to do with the 1.7, 1.8 thing, dude. Because that is a huge advantage. And there it is. Take it how you will, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, man. I, it looks good to me. Looks fine to me, Curtis. Uh, I, I think you're okay. But just in case, I will ask you a few more questions here, Kurt. Have you ever hacked in your life, Curtis? No. No, you have not. Okay. And have you ever wanted to hack in your life? I mean, no, not really. I don't trust hacks. Like, hack clients, I always think they're rigged with, like, rats and stuff. So I yeah. simply don't trust them. Curtis is very scared. Like, I got to be honest. Like, maybe one day, like, I kind of, like, not to, you know, make anyone's experience bad, but just to try it out. Like, I, I used to, I think, but now that I've seen the hacker trolling and seen it all done and been able to experience all these different hacks, I've had the experience. I think everyone always wants to do something evil at some point in their life. Like, even I can admit, probably before hacker trolling again, like I said, now that I've done it, I've kind of experienced them. I've watched them firsthand and I've seen what it's like. I, you know, just to kind of know what it's about. What's all the hype about, man? But so Curtis is, and he's always told me this, is he is not, you're, you're kind of nervous. You're over, overly nervous about stuff like that, which is a good thing just because of, you know, security purposes, etc. Uh, you don't trust downloading these hacks is what you're saying. Yeah. 
And what is your opinion on people who do hack, Curtis? Well, like, what's the point in hacking? You just ruin it for everyone else, you know? All right, dude. All right. I thought you. I thought I'd put you on the stand with a, a triple threat of questions there, dude. I think you. <laughs> I think you answered pretty well, man. Hopefully the. Uh, the audience agrees with you and believes you, so good on you for that. And uh, so there it is. Uh, take it as you will. I think that's good enough proof that this guy wasn't hacking. Um, again, I uh, it's uh, there are ghost clients out there, I know. But me knowing Curtis, I can you know put my neck on the line here and say Curtis was not hacking during that fight. I'm just not that good. <laughs> or uh, or ping, right? It's ping or something. Ping. <laughs> that, that, that's, what PvP ping. <laughs> that's what all the PVP are say. Ping, ping. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's what I'll bring up, man. It's it's all ping. No, nah, I'm just playing around though. But what we will look at here, Curtis, is warp rank up and just to touch on some things. People are are angry. I'm going to fee by the way just so I I don't get blocked here. People are angry, and mostly the donators who have donated in the past with real-life money are angry that non-donators can now get these ranks uh, with money. I just want to point out, these things are super expensive. They may even get more expensive, less expensive. I don't know. Probably not less expensive, i got to be honest. The reason we made them so expensive is because we recognize that you players who donated put that money in. So right now, the reason I'm bringing this up again is there's been a slight change. So when you rank upgrade, all right? So right now, I cannot afford my next rank. You need a total of 24 million for your next rank. So that's a big number. And I think that's for the $100 rank, if I'm correct, Curtis. Or no, that'd be the 175, wouldn't it? How much? 24 mil. Uh, $50 to the $100. Oh, that's to the $100. Yeah, $50 upgrade to the $100. Rank. Okay, so yeah, so, you know, really expensive, ladies and gentlemen, super expensive. Not impossible, and the reason it's, it's expensive, you'll see why uh, very soon. So much stuff, so many updates we got to talk about as soon as we're on blacklisted here. Just waiting on that final response, man. Come on, we're so close. Um, but with that being said, now when you rank upgrade, and just to make this clear, if you are the $20 rank and say you're a donator and you've won a $175 rank in a crate key. So you've got the $175 rank, you've got the $20 rank, okay? But you are $20 rank according to the store. So that's what you've actually bought in the store or that's what you actually have ranked upgraded here. So if I click rank upgrade, I would upgrade from the $20 rank to the $50 rank, okay? I would then keep the $20 rank, I would now have the $50 rank, and I would keep the $175 rank that I previously won from a crate key. So I just want to make that clear, Curtis, right? With the rank upgrades, you do not lose any of your previous ranks, correct? Correct, not anymore. Correct, okay. So yeah, we had it set up the first day. Where is, I think, just for the last two, for 350 and 600, if you upgraded those, you'd lose everything. That is no long, longer the case. If you rank upgrade, you will not lose any previous rank that you've already had. So that's, that's a positive, man. I was actually going to come over here and buy a rank upgrade, but... Unfortunately, uh, your boy Braden it can't afford this stuff, man. I, I got Slash Bal. I'm up to 11.5 million. I've got some good money in the bank, and I've got an extra 4 million coming to me as soon as uh, Dylan and Ben Mascot meet up. I can get an extra 4. I'll be up to 15 million dollars. So hopefully that uh, that goes through either tomorrow or the next day, like we said, and and then I can start affording some of this stuff. Which uh, again, with, with the value of money now going up. Because of uh, because people, you know, money is worth so much more with these ranks now. I need to make sure I've got a rich balance. So this is coming to the end of today's episode, and, and I feel I feel like today's episode is shorter. There wasn't really any action today. Uh, I, I made I don't know. I made a big mistake, and uh, I didn't remember this meeting I had. But I do want to get this out on time for you guys, or at least as close to on time as possible. As I'm really working on that. And when I set my mind to something, I I don't like to mess up, man. I'm mad at myself. I'm ticked. But I am going to make it up to you. This episode was a little shorter, and I, I'm not as, you know, happy with it as I am with some. But, ladies and gentlemen, I will hint to you again. I wasn't going to give you any more hints about next season. A lot of you guys kind of got a decent idea of what's going on based on the last riddle that Wild gave you a few episodes back. I've got one more riddle to give you right now that I just came up with to hint at another aspect of next season because uh, I feel bad for today's episode. So I want to give you guys something kind of to, to collateral to balance that. So here is the riddle. 
decipher it as you will. Next season, well, this isn't the riddle, I'm just saying. Next season is going to be freaking legendary. I say this every time. I really do. But holy crap, have we one-upped ourselves this time. Eh, eh, eh Kurt? Oh, yeah, boys. It's oh, gonna the, the, gonna uh, oh, it's going to be nuts, dude. Like, the Archon, like, the experience for the players is going to be nuts. But the experience for this show is going to be nothing like we've ever seen. So I can't wait for next season, episode 901. It's coming very soon. But here is the riddle. To give you one more further hint, your base has always been protected by walls, but now one power source could end it all. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the thing is with these riddles, someone is going to leave a comment. It's going to get top comment and it will describe exactly what we're doing next season. It happens every time with these riddles. Some of you are so freaking smart, man. You guys figure it out uh, within the blink of an eye. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, again, sorry. Uh, I mean, I don't know for sure if it's a shorter episode, but I assume it's a little bit shorter of an episode, and that's my bad. We will make it up to you. We're going to make it happen. Lots of stuff behind the scenes going on. And as soon as Mojang looks at our proof and sees that ranks are purchasable in-game or earnable in-game for the least, then, uh, then I think we're on Blacklist, and I think we're ready to go and release a ton of updates to this server and just get super hyped about the return of the Archon. So thanks for being patient with me today and uh, just in general with the Archon over the last few days. Reese 5 no to the Archon. We got JQM, True Gummy, Wizkid TV, Herx, and Color. All tag purchases. Thank you for your purchases of tags and your financial support of the Archon. We won't be spinning a crate key today, but don't worry. Crate keys aren't gone forever. We are uh, deploying a way to deal with crate keys. You look compliant once, uh, once we are on block lists. So we'll be back to crate keys once everyone can use crate keys again. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for being here. You guys are awesome. Touch that like button if you enjoyed. Join the Rush Pie, subscribe, and have a good one. We'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.